On a Thursday evening in March 1980, Deborah Anderson was planning to attend an event at Ham Concert Hall. Around 6 p.m., the blind 21-year-old UNLV student entered the intersection of Harmon and Maryland Parkway with her guide dog Midas and her friend, John Lord. She was halfway through the intersection, just ahead of her friend, when a reckless driver hit Deborah and her dog. Her friend John quickly called for help. While waiting for the ambulance to arrive, UNLV nursing students assisted Deborah. She made it to the hospital and was immediately put on life support. Unfortunately, at 11.55 that night, Deborah Anderson passed away. Her dog Midas, who was knocked several yards when they were hit, also died. News spread quickly about Deborah Anderson throughout campus. The next day, Friday, March 15th, over 500 students and faculty members gathered at the intersection, creating a human chain and stopping traffic during rush hour to protest on behalf of Deborah. One of the big slogans of the protest was, if the draft doesn't get us, then Maryland Parkway will. Protesters demanded that the speed limit be lowered from 35 to 25 miles per hour. Wheelchair ramps be placed on every corner and either an elevated crosswalk or traffic light be put in at the intersection. UNLV English professor Joe McCall remembers the protest. It was a spontaneous, in a way, protest, though several of us faculty members were very active on campus, and certainly the students uh, um, galvanized it and helped form this human chain uh, to block traffic. It wasn't just a protest, it was actually blocking traffic, walking back and forth across the street. And sadly, it both it galvanized the campus, but poignantly, it was the first time that faculty and students all got together under a real common cause uh, without selfish reasons, uh, you know, something that they wanted. And so it subsequently led to a big protest. Uh, um, as I say, there was something very poignant and very sad on the one hand, uh, but uh, I think a piece of everyone died with Debbie because they had, you know, seen her around campus. Uh, uh, the fact that she was also disabled added to that poignancy, but the fact was that many students, you know, could realize it could happen to them just as easily. The rally that took place was the largest student staff rally the university had ever witnessed. Letters to the UNLV newspaper, the Yale, expressed sadness over Deborah's tragic death and repeated calls for safety measures to be taken at the intersection. One letter remarked that UNLV is not just a bunch of college kids, but rather a serious and concerned institution. Later, wheelchair ramps and a traffic light were put in at the intersection. There serve as monuments to Deborah Anderson and her dog Midas and are a testament of what students can accomplish when they fight for change.